Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we used After Effects to animate these static pictures from SpaceX Demo 2 mission. It was super exciting watching Bob and Doug going up there and then coming back safely. So I went to SpaceX Twitter to see if they have some nice behind the scenes photos and boy, they have some really talented photographers over there. Well, you know, I'm just saying, if you want some cool pictures, definitely check out SpaceX and also NASA Twitter accounts. Anyway, back to our animation. I'm gonna show you how we animated these three pictures in After Effects by using Photomotion. It took us about half an hour to make each of these, so if you want to see full step-by-step -step tutorials, we have all three Photomotion classes available on our website. Okay, so first we're gonna have a look at this picture, which is a picture of Doug making that last phone call before boarding that Dragon spacecraft. So first we're gonna jump into Photoshop, and that's purely because Photoshop comes with better masking tools compared to After Effects. We're gonna create a mask around him, and we're gonna isolate him from the background, and then obviously we're gonna use Content Aware Fill to fill out that space behind him. So this is our clean plate. Then we're gonna jump into After Effects, and open photo motion portrait. There we have this x-ray that is basically your representation of that 3D mesh of his face. So we're just gonna focus on his face and align that mesh so it fits properly. And because we created that mask in Photoshop, it's a good idea to bring it over into photo motion so we can use that to mask out background from the foreground and that will give us that extra bit of depth into this picture. And we're just gonna create something really basic so that animation will now go from the right to the left and then go back. Now, because he's wearing a helmet, it's a good idea to include that helmet into our original depth map. So we're just gonna go into edit depth and then just select paintbrush and paint it over like this. And then of course we're gonna activate particles because that just looks cool. But here's the thing, because that picture when it was taken was probably three to two aspect ratio and our animation is 16 to nine, it created these black or transparent borders around these left and right sides. So what we need to do is use uh, something like reptile effect so we can basically replicate that, extend it to 16 to nine. Perfect, so we added a little bit of zoom and rotation and this is our final animation. Okay, let's do something else now. This picture was from SpaceX account, Twitter account. So first we're gonna jump into Photoshop just to split that image into individual layers like this. And again, just filling the background by using content aware. Then we're gonna take that image, the whole PSD file and bring it into After Effects into Photomotion Horizon. Now the question is, why Horizon? If you can use something like Parallax, right? Well, the answer to that is Horizon is a little bit more advanced. So if you know what you're doing, Horizon is always a preferable option over Parallax. We're just gonna extend that cage so it covers the whole picture and we're gonna switch into animation mode and play with the animation a little bit. Then you're just gonna fix that wide edge by using the slider. Then we're gonna use Liquify just to add a little bit of movement into these organic parts of the image. And of course, a couple of keyframes so it looks like that rocket is actually going up. Now for that smoke down there, we're gonna use Puppet Tool because it's slightly faster than using Liquify, a slight color correction something like this will do and then of course particles because why not and we're gonna activate depth of field and focus on that layer 3 which is our rocket and this is the final animation And this is our final picture. As usual, we're gonna jump into Photoshop just to separate these guys into individual layers and then mask whatever was behind them. Then we're gonna take that PSD file and bring it over into After Effects, more specifically into Photomotion Horizon. Now again, the same thing as before, you can use Parallax or Horizon, but I'll show you why we chose Horizon for this specific one in a second. We're gonna do some basic animation with our animation controller and just use Wide Edge Fix to mirror that left side over there. As usual, we're gonna activate particles because they are 
cool. Now, because we use Horizon, that allows us to create additional displacement maps for each individual layer, which will help to bring that dynamic 3D animation when we move the camera. Don't forget to activate that displacement map on each individual layer, and that will show you this orange controller. Now, of course, let's just add a little bit of light leaks because that makes everything look so much better. And this is our final animation. That's all for today. Remember, you can find full step-by-step -step photo motion classes of these three pictures on our website. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like or let me know what you want to see in the comments below. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Until then, fellow creatives, 